Hi guys, Mary here. Um, based on the announcements of yesterday afternoon with the president declaring a state of emergency for his border wall, I wanted to do a reading and see how that pans out. Okay, today is Friday, February 15th, 2019. What can you tell us, Spirit, about this state of emergency? Donald Trump is declaring. What can you tell us? Okay, we have the Three of Wands. I'm going to draw four cards. What can you tell us, Spirit? Please show me. Thank you so much. The Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, two more cards here. What can you tell us about the border? This is an uh, emergency. Four of Swords. And then we have the Devil card. Okay. All right, so the first card is the Three of Wands. This tells me that Donald Trump planted the seeds. He had this whole thing planned from, I'm not sure from when exactly, but he's had this planned. He knew he was gonna do a state of emergency. He's known that for quite a while. He um, planted the seeds. He was trying to get the wall built. He put down seeds to get the wall built. He can't do it the way he wants, so he's looking um, for other ways to do it. And uh, let me just put my glasses on. Yeah. I was just looking at the water here trickling down. Yeah, I get that he, um, this is who he feels he is. He's looking out into the valley. He's looking out at everything that he leads. <laughs> um, and then we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is all about balance and it's, it's money energy. So I feel like this is Trump saying, well, if I can't get the border money one way, I'll get it another money, another way. So I will take money from one um, area to put into the border wall. So to me, this is like he'll be looking for funds in other areas. Um, one area that people are talking about here in Puerto Rico is that he's going to take money from uh, Puerto Rico. That was allocated for Puerto Rico for rebuilding. Um, but he's looking at other areas to get money from. That's what that card means to me. Now this is the Four of Swords. Um, a lot of times in other decks you'll see um, a, a person lying down with swords over them. So I feel like he's kind of under, under the knife, so to speak. Um, this is from the GOP. This is from people who uh, aren't happy with his decision to call a state of emergency just because of um, the precedence that it sets when a, de a Democratic president could get into office. Um, this sets a precedence that a Democrat could call a state of emergency for basically anything. So, um, and gun control is a, big, is a big one that Nancy Pelosi mentioned yesterday. So I feel like he's kind of under the knife, under the GOP, people who are not in agreement with him. And we've got the devil card, and this was the last card that came out. I think this is him. This is he's really attached. The devil is all about attachments, um, you know, codependent relationships, attachments to drugs or alcohol, shopping, things that take your mind off of what's really happening. Um, and in this case, I would say Donald Trump is using the wall in this <clears throat> excuse me state of emergency to kind of take attention away from his real troubles, which is um, money laundering. Uh, things that he did with the inauguration, um, 
17 different lawsuits that he's um, basically trying to take the attention away from. So I'm going to pull one more card just to see if we can get an outcome for this. Spirit, please show me the outcome of the state of emergency, please. Thank you so much. Please show me the outcome. Death. So this could be really bad for his presidency. It could be bad for the party. Um, death means change and transformation, so it could be... Um, it could be that they, they look at changing the laws and how much uh, power one person can have in government. So, uh, but I think it's death. I, I think this is, a, he's making a big mistake here and I think it's, uh, it's gonna cost him. So um, that's the reading for the state of emergency. Let's see how much time we have, okay. Let me just clear the cards here. I would like to read on um, the Adams. Is it? Um, there's a musician. I wrote it down and I didn't bring my piece of paper. Um, Ryan Adams, I think. He's being, um, I think, investigated for misconduct with youth, maybe sexual misconduct with youth, or inappropriate behavior with. Uh, women that he was saying he would help in their musical careers. Uh, so let's just see if I can get a read on him. Okay. Spirit, please show me Ryan Adams. What can you tell me about Ryan Adams? Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. So knights come in to save the day. Um, and this is pentacle energy, things that you can see, touch, and feel. I believe that Ryan Adams was offering um, money or, or um, career to women. He would come in as like the knight, saving the day, um, helping their careers. So that's what I'm getting out of that. What else can you tell me, Spirit, about Ryan Adams? What's going on with Ryan Adams? A musician. And then we have the Four of Wands. So he would get into their home life. He would get friendly with their parents or aunts, uncles. He would also set up nice homes for them. I think that he would, you know, get, um, have a good relationship with maybe the older adults in the um, girls' lives, get them to trust him, you know, really, um, Offer them a more stable home. Things of that nature. What else can you tell me, Spirit, about Ryan Adams? Please show me. What else can you tell me about Ryan Adams? Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords um, uses her intellect. She's very wise. She has a lot of wisdom. But this card is all about clarity. I think this is the clarity of the women who have come up to speak the truth. Sword energy is truth, clarity, intellect. I think this is the women, specifically maybe one woman in particular, and I don't know who that is. I did not research this. I just saw the headline on, you know when you open your computer and like MSNBC comes up? <laughs> I just saw the headline. I thought it'd be something to look into. Okay, Spirit, one more card for Ryan Adams. What can you tell us about Ryan Adams? Thank you so much. Thank you. Ace of Cups, New Beginnings. So, um, I feel like this is going to be a new, new beginning emotionally for some of the women who feel that they were taken advantage of. A lot of times aces mean uh, yes, that he did do this, but I just want to pull another card. Did Is Ryan Adams guilty of what he's being accused of? Did he really do this to, this, to these women? 
What will you tell me? Thank you so much. Oh, Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm going to say he did do this. There's a woman who's come forward, and I'm not sure who it is. It's, it's, it's someone who's older. It's not someone who's super young, so she's believable. Um, but because it's an ace, and I asked directly, did he do it? Aces, to me, mean a positive answer of yes. Okay, so um, hopefully he will be brought to justice. <laughs> I know a lot of these musicians are um, coming out of the woodwork uh, um, as being uh, taking advantage of younger women to in, in exchange for helping their careers. So I think it's coming out on a couple of these musicians. It's been a problem for a long time. So. These are just some of the things that are coming out to be healed and purged, um, you know, as we go on, as we evolve um, as, uh, as a species. We have to get all of this stuff out into the open so we can heal it, purge it, and move on. Okay, so um, I hope that you have a great day today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your comments. My husband did have to have another surgery yesterday. He's not feeling so well today, and we're not really sure how um, um, how things will pan out, but I really appreciate your prayers, so keep them coming. Okay, have a great day, you guys. Take care.